I'm going to tell you the story of my first love. It was cuddly with fuzzy ears and a little wet nose, and well, more about that later. It happened at Christmas time. Hey, come on now. I said it happened at Christmas time. That's more like it. What are you getting from Sam? What you want to make? Every Christmas, I ask for a puppy to love, and this Christmas, I especially wanted one. Hi, Mariah. I like your dog. Oh, thank you. Have you heard of the community charity league fashion show we're putting on? Mm -hmm. I signed up to do refreshments. <laughs> of course, I had heard of it. It was only like the biggest talk of the town. Such a cool idea to raise money for the pet shelter. Fashion and friends, matching outfits for you and your pet. We're talking about being in the show. Really? Oh my gosh, I would love to be in it. Thank you so much. Great, we're short one girl with a dog. Oh, I don't have a dog. Mm, uh, sorry, we thought... Wait, I'm gonna have one soon. I'm gonna ask for one for Christmas. Super cool. Perfect. Come meet us at school today at four for rehearsal. We are so excited for you to be in the show with us. Be on time. Vicky and Grace were only the coolest girls in my whole school. I mean, these two had it going on. They were going places. <laughs> Good luck with that. Mariah, why did you tell them that? Mom and Dad won't let you have a dog. My little brother and sister, Brett and Beth, so supportive. <laughs> they loved teasing me about how much I wanted a dog and how many times I had asked. But they were right. Who was I kidding? i have been asking for a puppy every Christmas, every birthday, every... You get the idea. But my mom and dad always said no. To be fair, my dad was allergic to dogs. I'm talking really crazy allergic. And mom was very, well, she liked to keep the house just so. We're doing all red and white this year. Since mom and dad wouldn't budge on letting me have a dog, I went over their heads, straight to the big guy. 
We're talking Santa Claus. Every year I put puppy on my list. I was sure Santa really wanted me to have a puppy, but for whatever reason, he couldn't seem to get it together. I mean, I didn't know how they ran things up there in the North Pole. But it seemed to me like maybe Santa was in over his head. Um, boss, excuse us, sir. Uh, you forgot a couple. <laughs> hmm, not sure about that. Maybe mom and dad had something to do with Santa not getting me a puppy. <laughs> Butterscotch, my favorite. You can have the cookies as long as you don't leave a dog. Nah, mom and dad would never have done anything like that to me. Anyway, this Christmas, I was determined my present would be a puppy. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ernesto. Let's do a whip snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta go. We just got here. I have fashion show rehearsal with Vicky and Grace. Vicky and Grace? Ooh, popular. I thought you and me were doing refreshments together. Uh, well, I can still do them both. I'll see ya. We can skate tomorrow. What's wrong? I'm on time. On time is almost late. Let's get going. Our motto is, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> Remember, students, you'll be making your final outfit choices today, and you must bring them home so they can be laundered and pressed for the dress rehearsal. Oh, how cute. Don't forget to come Thursday dressed in your outfits. I had gotten myself into a fix. I wanted a puppy, but now I really needed one. I had pretty much given up on mom and dad and Santa too. But when everyone else lets you down, there's always grandma, right? Honey, my hands are cold. Let's step in here. But it, it's almost six o'clock. I think she'll stay open for us. Merry Christmas, Emiko. Mariah, so nice to see you. Hello, Lucy. So sorry, Mrs. Inadomi. I know you're closing, but... Oh, isn't he darling? Sure, but you know what Mom and Dad say. Dogs are trouble, but ever so worth it and ever so snuggly. Grandma! Is that, like, even sanitary? Did you see that? Remember what I said about grandmas? They have a sneaky way of figuring out how to make everyone happy. Mariah, I hear you're working on the pet fashion show. Thanks to you kids, we'll be able to have our adoption fair. She's a little older, and those puppies were climbing all over her, so I moved her to her own special apartment. She's a quiet little girl. Never hear a peep out of her. And that's how it happened. Love at first sight. Oh, she's so sweet. So well behaved and doesn't shed. She's hypoallergenic. Did someone maybe tell you my dad's allergic to dogs? Huh? I was just pointing out one of her many attributes. She's such a little princess in every way. Oh, that's such a perfect name. Princess. That was it. I was hooked. I didn't want just any dog anymore. I had to have princess. <laughs> 